That's a good question. Wow, nice question. question. Good question. Tip of the hat. Oh, Damn. These oh. questions I'm giving, these are legit. Yeah, these are really good questions. I appreciate you. I've got a thousand more questions for you. I oh, wish I could have. Like and good ones. More. Good questions. And good ones. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Guys, good to see you both again. How are you doing today? Yeah, thanks good, for Jake. having How us. How are you doing? Of course, I'm doing so well. Seriously, I love you guys and I love the show and I got a thousand questions for you. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, Let's go. You know, Shoot. I Let's would imagine, I got you. Let's do it. Uh, I would imagine that it's got to be really refreshing as an actor to get to flesh out a character over multiple episodes and even seasons. Something obviously you guys have experience with, with Parks and Rec and Friday Night Lights. I'm sort of curious, who is a cinematic character that you've played that mm -hmm. you only had maybe those two hours of time with, but you would have loved to have this kind of time with to get to know them over maybe multiple hours or multiple seasons? That's a good question. Wow, nice question. question. Good question. Tip of the hat. Um, Multiple. Mo yeah, go ahead. What do you got? Um, I'd love to even, 21 Bridges, I play a guy named Ray. And he's, I'd love to go into his backstory to see why or how, obviously, I have it in my head of why he is the way he is. But it would have been really cool just to even figure that out because he's a really deep-seated guy to play. So that would have been cool. It was a phenomenal performance, by the way. Thanks. I play a character named Josh Faraday in The Magnificent Seven, and he meets his untimely demise, or does he, uh, at the end of that film. I'd like to do more exploration as to who that guy was in his life because it would mean I could... Uh, you know, uh, ride more horses and shoot more six shooters yeah. and smoke more if, cigars. If on only train. you were still in touch with that director. I just feel like I can't think of what his <laughs> yeah. name is, but he I just feel like. He doesn't return my calls. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Don't, you, so don't you hate it when that happens? Busy. He's busy <laughs> selling some massive show uh, on July 1st called Terminalist. Yeah, Antoine Fuqua. I'd love to do that. Uh, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I'd love to. Honestly, both of those sound. But right now, Amazon's behind the scenes writing all these down like, yep, that sounds good. Those, are, those are great ideas. Um, you know, Chris, your character, without getting into spoilers, is, is very much haunted by this single mission that went wrong. He can't let it go. So I'm wondering if either of you have an acting equivalent of that. Maybe a role you turned down, a, a take you wish you had done differently, a line you wish you had read differently. Is there something in your career that you can't shake or let go of? Damn. These questions I'm giving, these are legit. Yeah, these are really good questions. I appreciate you. Uh, go ahead. What do you? Anything? God. Something I can't let go. I'm pretty darn proud, man, of of the journey. I, I'm sure as actors, you're always like, I can be better in this. In retrospect, mm -hmm. there may be a scene or a take that they kept that you maybe were like, mm, there's better ones, or they cut yeah. out certain emotional beats that made sense to you and your arc that are out. Um, basically, I have to edit my own stuff. Right? Yeah, I, honestly, honestly, <laughs> like, I, I don't think it, it's the, str the strange reality is that no actor or producer or f creator of, you know, art in film and television is ever a member of the audience, you know, of their own film. And so, like, it, it dawned on me, you know, a while ago, like Steven Spielberg has never sat down to watch a Steven Spielberg movie. You know, he's a guy who's seen 85 iterations of the film that he's working on. And when the final cut was only the final cut because he had a deadline and he had to turn it over to the studio and they put the movie out. But even he's probably watching it being like, God, if only I had shaved yeah. 24 frames off of this and added this thing back in. So, you know, an artist's work is, is never finished. So uh, the, I, the, the, the goal really is to be able to divorce yourself from the outcome, kind of focus on the process and not be caught up in a situation where you can't let something go. You literally have to let it all go. Yeah, well, you guys let it go and we get to take it and we get to enjoy it and love it. They're giving me the wrap. I I've got a thousand more questions for you. I oh, wish I could have. Like and good ones. More. Good questions. And good ones. I appreciate you guys. You guys are phenomenal. I'm such a fan. And, and Taylor, you want to, I've got a, a football sign by the Encaster Friday Night Lights and it's one of my uh, most cherished nice. possessions. So it's absolutely, so I, seriously, I, I love both you guys and I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. Thank, thank you for your thank kind you. words. Thank you. All right, thanks guys. Knowing we don't need roads.